question I think we have time for. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about the four by four. A little more about the uh, four on four uh, game that we play. No, the cues you're referring to. Oh, um, well, the the four by four cue system is you know let's say uh, for you. Uh, it's important for your athletes to have their elbows straight when they're receiving serve. So one of your four cues might be elbows straight. You keep it to a couple of couple of words or four at the most, and then you have probably th three other things that are important to you uh, mechanically in serve receive. Maybe it's getting your arms in the line in the flight path early, getting in the line. Maybe it's. Um, keeping your hands low or keeping them out front or whatever it is, you probably have three or four main cues that are important to you and it's the same thing that when you're talking about helping defenders read a little more, you probably have one where it's, um, you know, hand behind, what does that mean, hit her hand or hit her elbow or hit her shoulder depending on what you have, prefer that they try to see more of and another one, one might be as I showed you the, the hand going going straight up to the ball, and uh, a hitter leaning, and a hitter reaching out. You can mimic those by demonstrating them to your athletes in your, in your gym, and, um, and, and, and make it a little more of a Socratic thing. Ask them, what does this mean? What do these things mean? And they start calling it out, and, uh, and hopefully they'll start seeing it in Pepper as they demand that of each other, and even more importantly, in the game with live hitters who are in the air, and, and hitting or not hitting at them. Thank you all for coming out, and I wish you the best of luck. Nice meeting you. Hey, pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.